Now that you have a good working knowledge of Defender, its capabilities both on and off-road, and its amazing driver technologies, you may want to order one for yourself. Land Rover has offered four packs, the Adventure, Country, Explorer, and Urban Pack. Each pack comes with a plethora of factory-fitted accessories. Feel free to take a screenshot of this now on your phone. What they've done is they simplified the process for you. It's important to note that no matter which pack you ultimately select, you can add any of the available accessories that Defender offers later in your build. Anything with an asterisk next to it in this diagram is a recommended upgrade for that pack and does not come inherent to it. So to round out the video here, what we're going to do is we're going to build a Land Rover Defender together on Land Rover USA. And I have it loaded up here. Just a quick note, Defender 90 is coming later in the summer, whereas they plan on releasing 110 in the later spring. We'll have our first demonstrator vehicle in that time frame. So I'm going to select 110 here. And you have your choice of Defender First Edition or Defender X. And Land Rover's done a really nice job at breaking down the key features side by side. Kind of takes the guesswork out of it. With a vehicle that has so many available customization options, it's important to know exactly what comes with what trim. So we're going to start here from scratch with Defender, really make it our own. Have the choice between the turbo four-cylinder and the six-cylinder here. Um, have experience with both vehicles. Six-cylinder, amazing. Turbo four is great. Uh, I feel the four-cylinder is sufficient for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and select that one. And here you have the choice between Defender and Defender S, and you can scroll down and, and find what's similar on the vehicles and what's different. But like I said, we'll start from scratch with just Defender. So here I can choose my pack if I decide to. I'm going to go with the Urban Pack. Um, it gives you the bright rear scuff plate, spare wheel cover, and bright metal pedals. So now that I've done that, I'm going to select my color. The Panchea green looks great. And then you also have the option for a satin protective film. But I'm going to forego that option for now. Visual packs, I'm definitely going to add the black exterior pack to this truck. It gives you black lettering and accent pieces. In respect to the wheels, I like a gloss black wheel on this truck. So we're going to go ahead and select the 19 inch. And you can see how good it looks with those 32 inch tires, as I mentioned, fitted as standard. Roof options, we could have body colored roof, black contrast roof, and white contrast roof. I'm liking the black roof, but you can see what the white roof looks on it. How it looks on it, excuse me, it looks great. So we're going to go with the black contrast roof to stay in alignment with my black pack here. So in respect to interior, Base Defender comes with the option of that durable fabric seat or what you can do is select the Ebony Windsor upgraded option. Don't have the ability in just base Defender to add woven textile grain leather, but that's fine. Durable fabric, very comfortable, looks great. And I'm going to go with the heated semi-powered front seats. For finishers here, the wood trim looks awesome on it. Both do, so I'm going to select the rough cut walnut veneer. In that cross beam, you have the ability to have it powder coated different colors. And lastly, for the steering wheel, what we're going to do is add the steering wheel, which is automatically going to add the cold climate package, which is useful here in New England. And then lastly, we have the option between a semi digital and analog instrument cluster and an interactive driver display. Having experienced the interactive driver display, it's something I would definitely want. And now here you have some additional packs, including towing, advanced off-road capability pack. You know, if you're looking to do some serious off-roading, these are things I would certainly suggest adding. I'm going to go ahead and add the comfort and convenience pack that I mentioned earlier in the video. The advanced driver assist system, standard on Defender, or lane departure warning, and blind spot assist. I feel as though that's sufficient for me. 
go ahead and add some wheel locks. Now, as I scroll here, there is so many things you can do in respect to driving technologies. I'm going to go ahead and add cabin ear ionization. Okay. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just kind of jump along here to accessories. And here you can see it's just so much to add to make Defender your own. I like the matte black hood decal. That looks great. For interior accessories, this already comes inherent to the pack, the urban pack that I added, so I'm going to not double select that. Personalized tread plates, really cool stuff. Pet access ram for your pets. But I'm going to go to the carrying and towing. So, deployable ladder is something I would definitely want. An exterior side mounted gear carrier, both look great on the truck. I'm going to add that Expedition roof rack from the factory. I find that to be useful in the future. So, where I'm at with the build, I'm at 63,160. have so much on the truck and in the truck with all the technologies that come standard. You know, it kind of gives me a little more room to go in and add some finishing touches. So, once you add your finishing touches, you just go to Summary. It's going to give you a summary of everything you built. So here's the truck I built. I think it looks pretty cool. And here you can see those durable materials on the backs of the seats. So when you're ready to proceed forward with your build, simply have to copy the build URL here at the bottom of the page to the right hand side. You can print it out or send it in an email. And what that's going to do is allow us to look up your exact build and order it exactly to your specifications. It's been a blast sharing with you all the new information that I learned about the 2020 Defender. Truly an amazing vehicle, amazing on-road and off-road experience really sums up my experience with Defender and just a suite of a new amazing technologies that really put Defender over the top and make it best in class. I have no doubts you'll love the vehicle, and we can't wait to see you come springtime when Defender actually lands on the ground. We're looking at a demonstrator in mid to late spring and ordered vehicles to arrive sometime in summer. If you have any questions, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, my contact information is below, and you can always reach out to us here at Jake Kaplan's Jaguar Land Rover. You can speak to any one of our qualified sales guides. We'll look forward to catching up with you soon, and We'll leave you with some pictures of Defender.